G'day there, Snake of Bacon here for the third video of many to do with RC Revenge Pro. We'll be going to the track known as... Oh, I forgot what it was called. Ah yes, Trials from the Crypt, the Director's Cut, which is a harder, longer version with fishing skeletons. There's also that one. We're not going there yet. This is it. Three, now... Two. One, I'm using the Nitrox XLI, which is a weird name for some random car. It's reasonably fast and handles pretty well, that's okay. As usual, we've got the same flying hands and everything, just like last time. We'll pop out heads. I suppose some people might find them scary. I don't know, I've got a four-year-old boy here. Does he find them scary? No, are they scary? Yes, alright. Ooh, what's that? Some weird alien in a jar. That's... That's pretty weird. I feel like something from Metroid. Now, you can go up this ramp and just drive around. Or the much faster, much easier way of just going the quick way around the circle through there. And then, let's see, what else is in this extra part of the track that was added in? Got oh this room here with spider webs and turning wheels of some sort, maybe a torture device, who knows? One to the next room, what's here? Ah yes, the fishing skeleton. What's he trying to catch? Whoa! That's a huge skeleton fish. Kinda like relicanth, but uh less flesh. I think there were skeleton fish in Mario Brothers at some point, I'm not really sure. Let's continue. So you go out of this dungeony bit, up over that turning wheel you saw before, and through this room full of spider webs. Whoa, that's a very big spider. Is that scary? No. No? You're not afraid of spiders? Alright. Ooh, room is coffins, and who's coming out of that? It's got skeletons there and Dracula I think. I only saw him for a brief period of time. Ooh, we've got this river of the dead, I don't know, and there's Death himself rowing his boat. Let's see. Let's go, let's go back to Hades. I think we missed something. There is a shortcut. A shortcut that leads you straight over the top of the coffin room. Which saves a lot of time. There it is. This hole in the wall. Now you have to balance quite carefully on this beam here. Let's go through here, you pop down, and you'll probably be a little lost. But you just have to turn right. Back up to where we were. And there we've got the exit from that area from the standard track. And then it's all normal from there on. You know, you just go outside. Same scary trees. Same lake. Same bridge. Same everything. Just one big different section around the middle. Now, it's time for the race, but before I start talking about the game, just one thing. The Wii U. Yeah, it's coming to where I live soon. Yeah, you all know which country that is. But it's out in the States already, and can I just say, that's the ugliest console I've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> why doesn't it have any physical features? It's just a white disk drive. There's no pop-up disk tray like a PlayStation or a Saturn. No cool ridges like the old Xbox or a PS2. There's no wood panelling like an Atari 2600. There's nothing! No stripes, no lights, no anything. Anyway, new topic. Ah, uh, let's see. 
back to this game. Right. The game's reset car system doesn't work automatically like most others. So if you're flipped upside down or completely lost in some part of the track you were never even meant to look at, you're just going to sit there doing nothing until you press R1. And when you do, everything comes to a halt and some weird rainbow light flashes around you. <clears throat> Got quite a sore throat here. Let's see. Ah, this raindrop attack is completely useless. Trying to hit someone with it at the proper long range, like that person just tried to and failed hopelessly, is pretty much impossible. It would be like trying to score a direct hit by throwing the bob on forwards in a Mario Kart game. It's not going to happen. At least that thing explodes. This doesn't. If you can hit someone though, point blank works best, they'll be immobilized for somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds. I don't know, never really timed it. I don't really know what to do next once I've finished this series. Um, hmm. I've got plans to do a music video for a Rammstein song. So I got the idea that, I don't know, the, the really heavy riff kind of reminded me of playing Mech Assault, and it sort of just expanded on from there. I've yet to make any work on that. I've also got plans to make the entire first Crash Bandicoot game into one video. It'll probably go for, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes, an hour? Not a speed run, but not really a walkthrough or a let's play either. I'm not really sure if I'll have commentary or not. I might upload two versions, one with, one without. But essentially it'll be every single level in the original Crash Bandicoot. I'll turn on the super password so I can show all the gem paths as well. But with absolutely no gaps in between. Every time he's sucked up at the end of a level, like everyone knows happens when they finish a Crash Bandicoot level, he'll just appear on the next one. I'll cut out all the loading times, all the map screens, and I won't die, hopefully. I'll try and edit out deaths if I can't do every level without dying. It'll be good. I might also start a review series. I could just uh, record for a couple of minutes. I'll probably get a quarter of an hour of footage of a few games and throw it all together into a short <laughs> review and review every game I have, except for ones, obviously, that I haven't spent enough time on to know what I'm doing. No, not a tasty game. Not sure if you can hear him, but the four-year-old is still here and rambling on. Oh, well, he's fun. Good brother. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, next video is I still know what you drove last summer, which is the harder, longer version of I know what you drove last summer. Lots of changes to that track. I hope you actually watch this video, not that I get paid or anything, I'm not a partner. <laughs> Bye. Ah, oh, by the way, still here? Here's that Ramstein riff that I said reminded me of Mech Assault a bit, so I was going to make a music video out of it.